Track weather with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. Some spots still seeing a cold rain, others already seeing that rain transition over to snow. Now, the counties you're going to see in purple right now. So, we are talking Republic, Cloud, Washington, Marshall, Nemaha, and Brown County. You're actually under a winter weather advisory until six o'clock in the morning. However, these are just the areas that have the best chance of seeing some accumulating snow. Places like Topeka, Osage City, Emporia could still see a few flurries and snowflakes. It may just not add up to quite as much. And in fact, Emporia right now is one of the areas still really seeing just rain. And you can see that with our Emporia state camera there. And it's cloudy out there as well. So if you're in kind of a lull in the activity, it's a cloudy one over. Had a similar scene towards downtown Topeka. One of the spots still too warm to even be talking about snow just yet. It's 42 degrees in the capital city. Actually feels like 35, though, once you factor in that southwest wind at 15 miles per hour. Here's a look of satellite and radar. And you can see that mix of blue and green across northeast Kansas. Much of the green to the southeast and our eastern areas, but we're now starting to see more of that cold air wrap around, especially for our northern and western areas, as this low pressure system is really kind of honed in over northeast Kansas. That's why you'll see kind of these circles pop up here. That is the center of the low itself. Ahead of it, it's actually triggered some tornado warnings in Illinois. Not talking severe weather here in our neck of the woods, but more of us will start to see that transition over from rain to snow. So, bringing this down for you with future track, especially as we get closer to midnight, less likely of cold raindrops, more likely to see some flurries and light snow showers. This continues to wrap itself around, still have a snow chance heading out the door tomorrow morning. Not everyone may wake up to the snow falling, though, it'll be more of a broken chance. But even so, a few flurries, maybe even some cold, patchy drift. Possible throughout the day, even though future track keeps things quiet heading into the afternoon, little to no sunshine is expected throughout the course of your Sunday. But we could see some additional snow start to pick up late Sunday into Monday morning. Not expecting much, if any, accumulation out of that, but just don't be surprised if you see some flurries here and there. But in terms of snowfall amounts, what are we looking at? Just really light accumulation. Best chance of accumulating snow for our north and northwestern areas under that winter weather advisory. Anything from about an inch to maybe upwards of three inches will be fair game. For more of our central areas, you have still that snow chance, but it will continue to take a little bit longer for some spots to see that rain mix over to snow. That lessens the snowfall totals as well. Anything from just a dusting to about an inch also possible to the southeast. Less likely to see accumulating snow under an inch, mainly just a dusting is what we're looking at there because we still have some of that warmer air. It's 43 in Lawrence, 39 for Burlington, still just a touch bit too warm to even see some maybe sleet out there. But again, it feels colder because we have that wind. The center of that circulation with that low pressure you can see because you see more of a southwest wind keeping things warmer in our southeastern areas, a northwest wind already the pl in uh, place for Concordia. We get more of a west wind as that system pushes away for tomorrow. It keeps things on the cooler side, though. So even though we fall back into the 30s overnight tonight, feels like the 20s, 20s and teens is what it will feel like Sunday into a Sunday night. But overall, we are just looking at a pretty quiet, cool week for the upcoming work and school week. 30s and 40s are what we're looking at. Stay with us, KSNT News. We'll be right back.